city of Denver does not want headlines that it's laying off employees in order to pay for the migrant crisis. But the city is telling hourly employees that they may have their hours reduced to zero. Just don't call them layoffs. Here's Mark Salinger. When we got a tip that employees at this rec center were being told they no longer had jobs, we asked the city if there were new layoffs that hadn't been announced yet. Can you confirm if this is accurate? I asked the mayor's office and parks and rec department. Their answer was meant to assure us that we were wrong. No layoffs, they said. However, some employees may have their hours reduced to the point where they may not receive any hours. They're not calling it layoffs, but it definitely sounds like some people may not have jobs anymore. These direct impacts today on DMV do not involve layoffs, nor do parks and rec revolve layoffs of our current employees. We will have folks that are hourly workers that will have fewer hours. When Mayor Mike Johnson announced earlier this month that the city would cut budgets, he warned hourly employees would lose some work. Now we know they could lose all their work. I don't want to hide the fact that this matters a lot to those people that are on the front lines. The Parks and Rec Department tells us everyone from front desk workers to coaches to lifeguards are considered on-call employees that could be impacted by these cuts. The department has been told to cut $4.3 million to help the city pay for the migrant crisis. In Denver, the current scenario unfolds due to a skewed allocation of government funds prioritizing financial support for migrants while reducing the working hours of vital city officials like lifeguards, coaches, and office workers might indicate a misplaced focus on fiscal matters. Trimming work hours, even if veiled as not outright layoffs, encroaches upon individuals' livelihoods and poses a potential threat to the inherent purpose and significance derived from their labor. Moreover, the discrepancy between official statements denying any layoffs and the stark reality where employees lose time, scrutinizes the government's communication strategy. The lack of transparency and trust exacerbates the situation, failing to acknowledge the genuine experiences of those directly affected. This circumstance prompts concerns regarding the ramifications of immigration policies on local communities, fostering a perception that city resources are diverting toward addressing issues related to illegal immigration instead of upholding vital services and employment opportunities for the citizens.